As a hospital, we're able to offer first-class care and services due to the partnership we have with our community and our foundation. There's a misconception that government funds capital equipment, things like wheelchairs, diagnostic imaging technology, when in reality, that's simply not the case. Stevenson Memorial is dependent upon the foundation to raise these critical capital dollars from within our community. We are bursting at the seams in a building that was constructed in 1964. There's an expression I use that the building is tired, but the staff are not. Our staff are relentless in their pursuit of excellence and high quality care. This is evidenced by the fact that we remain the second fastest emerge out of 74 medium to high volume hospitals. In fact, we just got measured by Cancer Care Ontario this past year as being the most improved hospital. These are excellent statistics that reflect the high quality and dedication of our staff. When you come through the front door, you want to have immediate treatment and you want to have your condition stabilized with high quality, safe and compassionate care. We are only able to deliver on this expectation thanks to our partnership with both the community and the foundation. Ross, Angelica and Sawyer are three examples of patients we see every day here at Stevenson. What happened about 15 months ago, I had a almost chronic cough, a dry cough. I showed no signs of anything else. Um, I had regular checkups and was in pretty good shape. As time went on, um, I started to feel a little weaker and the cough persisted. And I finally went to the emergency and the doctor felt that there could be a problem with my heart. Based on that, he made me uh, check me into the hospital and uh, where I spent uh, the night monitoring my heart. I then underwent um, an echocardiogram, basically an ultrasound of the heart. And that's when they discovered there was some damage to my heart. It was totally uh, yeah, unpredictable. My family doctor was absolutely baffled. Very, very rare um, occurrence. I think the important thing with me was the promptness with what they processed me and the doctor who, after reviewing tests, re realized that something was amiss and got me down to South Lake for further testing. I believe that the hospital has provided me, has helped me um, regain my, um, my health and I feel you know, as good as I did years ago. They've been very attentive and uh, I've been quite, quite thankful and, uh, and appreciative. I had made a protein shake like I always do, just with frozen strawberries and was working away and after about 20 minutes I felt a sensation in my throat like it was, I couldn't swallow, like I couldn't swallow, it was like if you'd eaten a sandwich and you didn't chew it well and and I thought, this is odd. And then I, you know, I gave it a couple more minutes and I thought, okay, this, something is definitely happening here. And I was quite, you know, freaked out. So I uh, immediately called my neighbor, uh, who her husband happened to be home and he drove me over. I, I knew that how great it was to, you know, be right here in Alston and, and really my, my hospital's in my backyard. At the time, of course, I'm a little panicked. So I'm thinking, can you get there any quicker? But then at the same time, I also thought to myself, how crazy would it have been to have to run down to Toronto or Newmarket or even Barrie because, you know, I could, minutes could have really been an issue and also the fact that I didn't call 911. I guess if I didn't have that neighborhood hospital, I may have had to do that. And then who knows what have happened. And they took me immediately and no questions asked, took me right in. So that was great because obviously it was a panic, like when you can't breathe. It's something that we almost take for granted, but we know that we can count on it and, and at any moment we, we may need it and when we do, they're there for us. Grab the big slide, okay? Okay. I like it a lot when I see this playground. Yeah, I, I come here after when I go to the, the hospital. <laughs> again, again. Ah! Nice to me. I would say thank you. We need to continue to move forward on our journey towards redevelopment. This is an exciting chapter in our history, 
As a hospital, we look forward to face the challenges of constructing a new building. We need to empower our community so that collaboratively we can succeed with our end goal, that of a successful redevelopment and a hospital we can all be proud of. We envision patients walking into a revitalized facility, which meets the needs of our growing community while offering the best services in a safe, high quality, compassionate environment. With the support of our community, we are confident in making this vision a reality.